good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Dana, coming to you live from DNL Studio LLC, right outside of a little town called Montross, in a little subdivision called Glebe Harbor. Now today, guys, we're going to talk about how to do a virtual sound check using Reaper. Now the first thing I want to show you is we're going to go over to Options, Preferences. I do have the ASIO file selected for my audio system. I will be using the Behringer X32. I have the rack system with the S16. I've got the 32 ins and I've got 32 outs. Now, guys, the output range on this is not for the physical XLR outs. With the Behringer systems uh, on their X32s, there are only 16 outs. But this is one channel in, one channel out. One channel in, one channel out. Okay? So we're going to go over here now and we're going to view our routing matrix. Now, as you can see, guys, when I come down here and I highlight this area, the master output for the flute is going out of number one and number two and so on. Be very, very careful. Don't start up here in the wrong spot. If you do, if you start up here and go down with this diagonal uh, row, you're going to throw every single one of these off, okay? As you can see, this row right here stops right there and goes all the way across to the master output. We don't want the master output, okay? We want uh, channel one coming in, going out of channel one. And for the virtual sound check, guys, this is basically just exactly what it is. You're up on rehearsal. It could be two hours before the show. It could be the Saturday night rehearsal. And you want to sit there and you want to record that group whether it's a five-piece band, a ten-piece band, a seven-piece praise and worship team, it doesn't matter. You want to record them into your doll. Okay? Myself, I use Reaper. Uh, this is for the Windows. I do not work with Mac. Guys, if you've got any questions about Mac, I, I don't, I, there's nothing I can do for you. I, I don't know anything about them. Okay? So once we have our routing set up here, then it's just a matter of simply playing the audio and watching it come back through the X32. Because as you can see right here, and this is the scenario, guys, okay? Everything was recorded here in the Reaper. This is on a, on a Saturday night rehearsal. Now, I want to take my X32, and I want to set it up to replicate what I've done in Reaper because I like the way this sounds. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the X32. I am using the X32 edit. Now, here, guys, if you don't know how to use this program, I highly suggest you do a little bit of research on it. I love it. It makes it so easy for me using the rack. Everything that I've got here corresponds with the Reaper. Uh, here's my dynamics. Here's my compression. Here's my EQ. So what I do is I go back to Reaper, and then I'm going to take the EQ sections in here. And let me just come over here to the vocals. And as you can see, uh, the gate, I have it gated. And then I've got some dynamics on it with the compressor. Uh, I haven't done anything with the EQ yet. Uh, over here on the FX controls, I've got it setting, go back here, uh, over to the uh, FX1. This is for me to listen to the reverb, guys. This is a reverb that I want to put on there. The biggest mistake that I see people making is when you get up there and you do these shows, when you're going to stream this live, your reverb, all of your effects, will take center stage. So if you've got that reverb cranked up on these channels, your vocals are going to get lost in the mix. It's just that simple. The job of a sound engineer is to sit there and do what properly needs to be done. That's all I can tell you, and that's all we're going to speak about this. Okay? In recording, you record properly, and you master lightly. 
Okay guys, so now we're going to go over to routing. It's real simple. The only thing we're going to do is come over to input. You can see where they would normally be when you want to do this playback. When you want to sit there and run it from your DAW back into the X32, you need to come over to card 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24, and 25 through 32. Okay? Now, keep in mind that when you finish this virtual sound check, you need to bring these back over and put them here. Okay, that's why those are uh, kind of highlighted there. But for this situation, this is what we're going to do right here. Okay, and that's all there is to the routing. Strictly the inputs over here to the card. And that's it. Now, as I play this, and I'm going to loop it in Reaper, and then I'm going to play this, and I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to show you what I always preach, guys. And the first thing is setting the proper input game. Okay, that's the number one thing. That's where you must start. It doesn't matter whether it's a live show or whether you're sitting in the studio recording. Okay, and then you're going to see me jump around from some of these as they come on. You know, when they start bringing in that input signal, and I'm going to start jumping over to these, and I want you to look at these meters right over here. You're going to see the input level. Now, the output levels, uh, people will, again, questions. Dana, how do I get my output level to be the same as my input level? Well, guys, that's done with your phasers right here. Okay? The case is, how does it sound coming through the front of house speakers? How does it sound coming through your live stream? The way that I've got this blended right now is something that I would play on a live stream or at a gig. Okay, so let me go ahead and start Reaper and we'll come back and you're going to see me just start going through these and showing you what my input gains are. If you lay down your head and rest here tonight, I'll bet you'll stay here longer than a while. Can we be longer than a while? The hands on my wrist and my stubby lips are here. To make you feel better than the same Can we be better than the same? So touch down your heart to my chest And fix what needs fixing Cause you are what I believe in I see that your armor is thick And I'm not first pick But I'll bend to the anatomy I know you need So let me be what you ask me, please So touch down your heart to my chest And fix what needs fixing Cause you are what I believe in You're what I believe in So touch down your heart To my chest And fix what needs fixing Cause you are What I believe in You're what I
So touch down yard to my chest and fix what needs fixing. Cause you are what I believe in. You what I believe in. Okay, guys. So I hope you can see. And truly, the main purpose of doing this virtual sound check is really twofold. If you're getting ready to do a show, it's so you can walk around and listen to how your band is going to sound, as well as let the band come back and listen to how they actually sound. This will be your last opportunity to make any adjustments that you need to make. Now, if you're doing this to set up, to where you know that you're going to be playing with the same people, the same instruments every single week, you know, such as a, a praise and worship team, then come right up here and go save, select all, save as scene, and when it comes up, just pick the same scene that you're laying in here, and that way whenever you come back, and I'm going to go ahead and zero this board out, Okay, and I simply did that from the face of the uh, X32 rack. So now all I've got to do is come back and say load scene. And I come back to where I believe. And there it is, guys, all day long. Okay, this will allow you to have other people come in and practice using your board. You know, like if you're trying to train a junior engineer or maybe a volunteer from your church. You know, that way they can go in there and they can experiment with it, they can play with it, and you'll always have your settings just like you left them, all right? Take care, God bless, and we are out of here.